Hello. How's everybody doing today? Um, today is, I think Friday, or well, Thursday. Not real sure, you know what I'm saying? I haven't, you know, normally keep track of the days anyway. But anyway, this morning, well, it's 10-10. Uh, I wanted to talk about you know, personal stuff, you know, something, you know, that, that we all experience you know, in our lifetime, sooner or later, right? And uh, how to deal with it. Okay, okay, now, here, let's, let's, let's just throw it right out there. This morning I woke up and discovered that they stole my bike again. Well, well, I liked my bike. It was pretty cool. You know what I'm I, you know, I paid for it, bought it, and it worked hard, you know, worked hard to get it. You know, it treated it nice, you know, add, you know, modified it, you know, saying it made it work. Right, it suited me, made it fit, you know, suit my needs, and that was a good bike. Right? Yeah, I was attached to it. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I get attached, but then I get attached to all of my bikes. Now, I have learned over the course of my lifetime, right, that, you know, there's some things you just gotta let go. That it doesn't do you any good to be angry. Let me get this point to chop up. That doesn't do any good to be angry, you know what I'm saying, or, you know, swear revenge or any of that stuff, you know what I'm saying? But it doesn't because you know all you're, all you're doing is just acting out and adding to the problem. Right. So now there and there is a, you know distinct possibility that someone you know could have borrowed it still. You know, there, there are a couple of guys that live here that I haven't talked to yet, but there's you know the logic you know plays out that there's absolutely no reason for them to borrow my bike without telling me or to borrow my bike. Period, because they're not bike riders, right? So and you know what I'm saying. Back gate, and uh, Nam told me this much. Nam told me a while ago when we woke up, because I woke up like around eight, and discovered all this. That when he, you know, he was outside earlier, that the, you know, he asked me who, who let the gate open. And I'm like, well, the gate was wide open. He goes, yeah. I said, well, that's when they stole my bike. So there is a potential here for my bike to have been stolen anywhere between midnight and you know eight o'clock this morning. Right? Because why? Why? Because we always got you know freakers and freakers and you know everybody walking up and down the alley. You know what I'm saying? In the words of a famous American that I know, I was looking to steal shit. Be that as it may, you know what I'm saying? Well, and it was a dumb part. They really wanted my bike because, because I, you know, even though there's no place to lock it up to, I, I normally always put the, you know, the U-bolt lock through the frame and the back wheel, so they had to actually pick it up a chariot. So that means there was either two of them, right, or one single-minded individual that truly wanted my bike. So, that, that's, that's the issue, all right? So, get to the point, Brian. So, how, how do we deal with it? You know well, there are various other, you know, mechanisms here uh, at work, you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I, I could, you know, I, like I said earlier, I, I could just, you know, totally flip out, you know, so you could fly out the handle and, you know, then you get, get stinky in the truck, you know, saying, drive me down the bird streets in the, you know, in the neighborhood until I find the individual that's got my bike. I had you know, smash them through the ground, take my shit back, you know, saying, you know, kick them in the teeth on the way out, say, hey, look, that, that's what you did for stealing. But it's a 50 50 chance that this individual was the one that stole it. He could have been the one that bought it, right, or ended up with it. Right? But either way, he does have the information. Right? So, you know what I'm saying, you know, being just, you know, going, you know, half cocked, you know, bent for leather, you know what I'm saying, is, is not, you know, very conducive to, you know, Finding the truth here, right? But another option is, right, to calmly, serenely, right, you know, logically think it through, right, and you know, try to figure out who, if anyone, right, you know, Sam could potentially be a suspect, right, in you know, the theft of my bike. Well, that's that's kind of you know, like a long shot thing there, because I mean, they are there is constantly all kinds of people walking up and down the alley, always, even the victim, right. So that, you know, the, the list of suspects could number in the hundreds, right there. And I have never seen half of them, so I don't know what they look like to begin with, right? So, the third option, right, is, you know, most likely the one that we follow. And that is, you know, bent, you know, that's what I'm doing now, is to bend, bend your anger, bend, bend your disappointment, you know what I'm saying? Talk to somebody about, you know, the true trust, about how you feel about this stuff right now. Process the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? Change the emotional response from anger 
disappointment, disillusionment, disabuse, right, into something positive, right, like energy, you know what I'm saying, and like I'm doing now, cooking lunch, you know what I'm saying, I've already, you know, talked to anonymous, and he's called the dude, and he's set, tried to set up a little deal, because I still got a little bit of money left over, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and probably end up, by the end of the day, probably end up buying another bike from dude, you know what I'm saying, but it's going to cost me the rest of my money, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and I have to go through the motions of, 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 Customizing the bike again to my needs, but but you know, but that saved that saved a lot of hassles, a lot of hassle, right? A lot of, you know, a lot of bullshit, a lot of stress, a lot of yeah, this thing and that thing. Because now you know, what I'm saying I have I have some semblance of a, of a logical response, and right? and a call to action. You know, get a new bike, right? To focus on, right? Instead of you know, pissed off and motherfuckers and and, and going out and find somebody, right? Okay, and then. Not only does, you know, option three, you know, help you feel better as a person, but, right, you're not, you're not blowing it totally off because, you know, there is still, you know, potential, right, for me to see somebody riding my bike up and down the neighborhood streets here in the next few days or a week or a month, right, and, you know, you, you know what's going to happen, you know what the response is going to be then. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's there's a, there's very few things that I that I you know that I disapprove of in life, especially when it comes to other people and in your actions and your behavior, right? But there are you know those few things that I do not approve of that I do not accept. You know, what I'm saying one of them is stealing. Right? If it's not yours, leave the fuck alone. Right? Or you know, Sam, have enough respect for yourself, right, to go ask permission, right? To borrow it, use it, you know what I'm saying? Do something with it, you know what I'm saying? Anything but break it or, or sell it. But as you can see, you know what I'm saying? I'm holding back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Various layers of, of, you know, anger and disappointment. Right? But I'm, I'm doing better. You know what I'm A couple hours later, you know what I'm saying? I thought it all out, you know what I'm saying? Worked it all out. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing, the reality of the fact is I really can't do anything about it anyway. You know what I'm saying? Until I catch the individual or find the individual who has my bicycle. And like I said, it's a 50 50 chance whether he's the thief or he's the victim. It's me, Brian. You know, cooking lunch, sorting through my emotions. Thank you.